whatever you saw up there, why you're not talking to us, to me, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. But please, just tell me where you were, Javi. That is a look at season two of Yellow Jackets, the Emmy-nominated series, following a talented high school girls soccer team who survive a plane crash deep in the Canadian wilderness. The psychological horror story also tracks their lives nearly 25 years later. Canadian actor Kevin Alves plays teen Travis, and he joins us now. Welcome to The Morning Show. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. All right, so uh, the series is ranking 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Can't do much better than that on Rotten Tomatoes. No. <laughs> that never happens on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> we're just over the moon about it all. The fan base is only growing. People wanting to try and figure out, theorize what is really going on. What is it like? And you've now become a regular on yeah. the show. Oh, so congrats yeah, on that. Thank you. What is it like to be part of a show like this that's only gaining momentum and really kind of getting this cult-like following? Uh, it's just been really cool and honestly just fun to see how people are getting to know this show in the sense that like every time I meet someone who's watched the show, it's mostly because a family or a friend or somebody bugged them for <laughs> six months to get caught up and get going. And so it's just nice to know that there were so many passionate people who watched season one that are pushing it and then to see kind of it start to build a bigger audience this year. It's just, it's kind of been surreal, but we're because it's been like one step at a time, It's it's been a lot easier to sit back and enjoy it. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You talk about fans. How are fans reacting to you? What is it like in the streets? Because uh, you play uh, Travis in flashbacks to the 90s, and I know you have described him as uh, somebody who is not necessarily meant to be liked today. Yeah, <laughs> you know, he's a 17-year-old kid in 1996. His decisions are not the best. But I think that's also sometimes in public people get a little reserved coming to have conversations. But once I get to meet people that actually like the show and have watched it it's just it, it kind of blows my mind and I have a, I have a good time like just kind of hearing people's thoughts and theories like I every t every time I meet someone I want to hear what they think is gonna happen sure sure <laughs> um, curious if this blows your mind at all the heavy hitters that are also on the show uh, okay let's just go if people if you're not familiar with who's yeah. on the show take a listen to some of these names Christina Ricci Melanie Linsky Juliette Lewis Tell me your reaction when you found out about Elijah Wood being a part of it. Oh, it was so cool. Our group chat was going crazy. <laughs> like we were, we were over, like we were, we changed our picture to the group chat of Elijah. Like, that. <laughs> but um, but that's with everyone though. Like Juliet is so unreal this season. Like uh, just watching their work has been amazing, and and meeting all of them because they're all so kind and they've been around in this industry for so long, and so it's nice to be able to take away something to keep ourselves a little more grounded through this whole process. Yeah. Sure. What's it like? Uh, the series is shot in Vancouver. What's it like uh, working there? What's it been like hanging out in Vancouver? I love Vancouver. Honestly, the idea of being able to have the city feel, but get out in 30 minutes and be in the mountains and then be out away for like mountain golf 30 seconds later like I, it doesn't get a lot better than that i love golfing um, well so does this gentleman here uh, yes you know what kevin <laughs> we have to talk about you and your golfing because you only took it up i understand what like a couple of years ago yeah like three years ago i think now right before the pandemic okay yeah. and you're already breaking 80 for only one time so far. That counts. Okay, one time that counts. It counts. Okay. It counts. <laughs> Ever since then, I'm chasing it again. 83, 84, and it's like, ah, oh, man. That's oh, the beauty of the there. game, though, right? Because, like, only 5% of golfers ever break 80. I get a little obsessive over sports. Yeah. <laughs> like, whatever it is I'm doing, I get a little obsessive. And Jeff never does. No, 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 <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. That's uh, a great game. <laughs> Let's talk about another sport, because you used to be a figure skater. Yeah, for for a long time, I got to compete internationally for ten years doing it. Oh, look at that! Yeah. What are we looking at yeah. here? <laughs> well, the, uh, what move was yeah, that? Yeah, triple south cat. Got some <laughs> camel spins. I had like yeah. a double axle there. Who knows? Yeah. Man. It was <laughs> you, you, when you're in the air, you can't really even tell what jump it is anymore. But <laughs> you were really into it. Like it was, that was a serious, serious um, yeah. sport for you. It, it was it was my life. It was a huge part of my life. I I got to travel the world between the ages of like. 15 and 20 with my coaches. I kind of learned so much about different cultures and different people doing that for so long. But it also, I think it's really helped me with everything else that I want to learn and, and with acting and performing. You know, when you, 
when you fall many times in front of 4,000 people, you kind of get used to it. So now it's, I'm a little less nervous when I'm on set. Yeah, so it actually helped your transition to what you're doing now? Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, I think it would have been much harder, a lot harder to get out of my shell if I hadn't done the competing internationally because there's just a, a sense of like being in the moment when you're skating and you really have to be um, because you prepare for months upon months and you got four minutes to figure it out. So I, I brought that to everything that I that I kind of do and it's, uh, it's listen, it's it's paid off so far. I'm gonna just cross my fingers, keep going. <laughs> All right, well you can catch Kevin not on the ice but on the screen. New episodes of Yellow Jackets are available on Crave. Kevin, thanks so much for stopping by. Oh, thank you guys for having me. Thanks.